Now it is easier than ever when you see a crowd, when you see a line that's not distanced, when you see a supermarket that's too crowded, anything, all you gotta do is take the photo and put the location with it and bang, send a photo like this, bang. And we will make sure that enforcement comes right away. Text the photo to 311-692 and action will ensue. And that's how the cookie crumbles. Mayor de Blasio of New York City's social distancing tip hotline has been flooded with penis photos, memes, and well, pictures of a man from World War II who is very bad. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on the New York Post. So, we're here with Mayor de Blasio, the absolute fool who's been in charge of New York. Now something really funny happened. As you all know, de Blasio recently started a new initiative to help promote social distancing. Well, it's easy. If you see a crowd, if you see people outside, all you gotta do is call Big Brother. And Big Brother will send men in uniforms with shiny badges to come beat you with a stick. Yes, it's only communism in de Blasio city. So, this is a hilarious story and one I am pleasured to bring you. Here you can see, Mayor de Blasio's critics let him know how they really felt about him ordering New Yorkers to snitch on each other for violating social distancing rules by flooding his new tip hotline with crank complaints, including pictures of private parts and people flipping the bird. The post is learned. So photos of extended middle fingers, and you can see that right here. Um, they texted to Bill de Blasio, the middle finger here. I, I like how this guy, like, he didn't do the full middle finger. I'm not sure why. Maybe he just snapped the photo too soon. But man, you gotta, you gotta hold that hand large and proud, man. Put all your other fingers down, erect that middle finger straight up into the air, and just, you know, own it. Flip them the bird with all of its majestic glory. So other people uh, send him pictures of him going to the gym. Going to the gym when he's supposed to be social distancing and staying at home. And he texted the hotline stories of de Blasio defending himself because he went to the gym during the outbreak. Now this is a guy who's been telling people, you need to stay home. You need to stay away from people. But I'm going to go to the gym because I need exercise. Rules for thee, but not for me. Now, this is what annoys me most about leaders. If you're going to be a leader, you need to lead by example, because people do not like hypocrites. I've been saying that it's a good idea to stay inside as much as you can and stay away from people, and I've been doing it proudly. Yes, I'm in school right now, I'm in university, but it's all online. Wow. Look at the message that they send you when you text the tip hotline. It says, hello. And thank you for texting NYC311. We're here to help, but if this is an emergency, please call 911. Hello, police? A man is standing outside with his girlfriend. I don't feel safe. Please send help. A representative will be with you soon. You can text the word COVID to 692-692 to get the latest updates about coronavirus from Notify NYC. New York City. Okay, that's hilarious. That's funny. That's actually really funny. So another person sent him the message, we will fight this tyrannical overreach. Now here's the funny part. They said, F you, replied at Morgan L. Schmidt, along with a meme showing a certain man, a certain bad man from World War II, with the words, to those turning in your neighbors and local businesses, you did the right thing. Oh, do I love those puns. Start flooding the reporting text numbers with those pics, the tweet added. Now, yes, a lot of people are comparing him to authoritarians in our history because this, this is essentially what that is. Like, if you're going to have some sort of uh, statewide quarantine, you need to do it seriously. Like, go all the way or go home. Either it's an emergency or it's not. You know, you're sending mixed messages. But, you know, there is such a thing as going too far. And I think you're going too far when you're telling people in their own communities to spy on each other. That's that's too much. So um, here they here they provided a collection of some of the pictures, and let, let's look through them. This is some of the things that people have been texting to Mayor De Blasio. Here you can see Mayor De Blasio with an edited mustache with the caption that reads, "We will make sure that enforcement comes right away." 
Send in the special army. Lizzie Lou, who sent the following? Eat a bag of, you know, private parts, and they actually censored this. That's hilarious. Like, it's candy. It's not real, but yeah, okay. So here's a picture of a crowded park. People do look like they're trying to keep their distance. Now, I don't know if I would want to be out here, to be honest, because, uh, you know, people can sneeze up to like 13 feet. I'm just saying. Okay, so here's a good one that shows hypocrisy, right? You see Mayor de Blasio's message to tell everyone to spy on everyone. And then you see him here on April 17th in a public place full of people. What a moron. I think that's, that's it, dude. He's just a moron. And of course, someone texted him, don't tread on me. Now, one of the funniest things about this entire debacle is that so many people were flooding the hotline with memes and jokes and pictures that it crashed. Here you can see, flood of prank messages caused New York City's coronavirus snitch number to briefly shut down. So it got flooded with so many memes bashing Mayor de Blasio and bashing this spying snitch hotline <laughs> that it completely and utterly crashed. City Hall confirmed that the 311 text line was shuttered to clear out a backlog of crank complaints. The issue has been resolved, but it is not a technical issue on 311's part. Mayor spokeswoman Oliver Lapiroli said, <laughs> An NYPD source said that the <laughs> dick pic photos of real live penises have also been texted to 311, and a caller phoned in a tip that de Blasio was seen performing oral sex someone in an alleyway behind 7-Eleven early Sunday. He looked at me and coofed in my direction. The caller said, according to a photo of the 311's operator's computer screen provided to the post, COOF is a newly coined term for coughing while infected with the coronavirus, according to the Urban Dictionary website. <coughs> I have the COOF. <coughs> COOF. The city has begun vetting everything before dispersing the information to precincts. The NYPD source said, Oh, that's so funny. So th they got memed on, and they got memed on hard, okay? They got nuked with memes. That's hilarious. And, you know, now they're gonna vet these texts, and they're gonna, you know, they're gonna, oh, this is a prank, so we won't send it to precincts. I wouldn't be surprised if people started sending, like, fake tips in, like, oh, I see a crowd here at uh, Willow Way Driveway. Please come. And, you know, they don't include any memes. They don't include any prank pictures, but then police come and like, it's empty. There's no one there. Um, I could easily see people doing that. That'd be funny. You see, the, all of this is an act of civil disobedience and protest against a corrupt establishment. You don't ask Americans to spy on their neighbors. That's just something you don't do. If you're going to enforce a quarantine, enforce a quarantine. Otherwise, that's not the way to go about it. It's not, it's not good for society and it's probably not gonna work anyway. People who are gonna call the police are gonna call the police regardless. You know, you always have those, the snitches of society. That's why I don't like journalists. To me, the journalist was always the goody two shoes in class, you know, the teacher's pet, who told them anytime something happened and basically spied on all fellow students. That's a journalist, nosy, egotistical, and self-centered. You're always gonna have those people, but in this case, Asking Americans <laughs> to send snitch tips on other Americans couldn't have ended in any other way. But you know what, my friends? That's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? I find it absolutely hilarious that de Blasio's hotline is getting memed on. But let me know what you think. Now, as always, if you like this content and want to support the channel, you can join me on Patreon or Subscribestar. I have a donor box link for donations and a Bitcoin address if you want to donate cryptocurrency. One of the best things you can do in these trying times is simply to share the video with your friends on social media and online. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, be sure to like it, leave a comment, and subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications for new uploads. Anyhow, Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all next time.